What's going on guys and welcome back to Airport CEO. So in the last episode I kind of left off with the we had a bunch of construction going on and we were gonna wait until it was all done and this episode really early in this episode hopefully we'll be able to get some flights coming in for general aviation. So we actually have somebody requesting to land at our airport already and nothing's on or no yeah we need to open our runway and we have to open our stalls down here before we even get people coming in. But apparently people are already looking up at the airport and wanting to come in. So let's go ahead and open these stalls up. So what we have to do is open a stand up for general aviation. And what this is going to do is allow us to keep this kind of sorted out. I mean, if you had a bunch of stalls that you wanted this side to be commercial only and this side to be general aviation only, you can do that. So what you got to do is go in and actually set them up when you first get them. Again, I don't think the tutorial is very clear on some of this stuff like that, but uh, hopefully this clears some things up for you guys. But yeah, opening stands and making sure they're set to on is a very important thing. I actually had to make sure my runway was set to open because at one point I wasn't getting commercial flights in and I was very frustrated. But yeah, it's probably best to just keep these both open right away. And we have the runway is actually open and we had somebody actually wanted to come land. So let's allow them to come land next time we get a request. But before we do that, we actually need a fuel truck because they're gonna come down, land, and request some fuel, which at this point we do not have. So procurement, we'll get a Fajord fuel truck, Avgas, uh, and we'll order that up now. We'll get just one for now, and we're gonna have to go into contracts and strike a deal with some, one of these fuel suppliers. So. Which of these do we want? So these are small class, this one's medium class, and this one's medium class. So they're going to have different requirements. Let's see what they want. They're going to sell us aviation fuel for pennies on the dollar. And yeah, the fuel will deliver 4000 per delivery. That's insane. We do not need that. How much do we have in here? We have 200,000 liters. Uh, and yeah, that would have doubled what we needed. Eventually, we'll probably need that, but f I think for now, we'll probably end up with the small, the nature fuel contract. So let's go ahead and sign that. The price is a little bit worse, but we don't need the extra fuel. So they might get really mad if they come in and try to, you know, give us fuel that we don't need. So this is going to be a better fit for us right now. Uh, all right, so we have a general aviation some flight is requesting to land. Let's go ahead and accept that. And what you're going to see is eventually a plane's going to land on our runway and then taxi down to one of these stalls where hopefully our fuel truck will end up coming in. This is the truck for the Avgas that's going to deliver over here. So this is not ours. Ours should be coming in soon, hopefully, as long as we have that uh, procurement going through and let's just make sure we do yes 98% so yeah it should be showing up any second now so that's good and uh, yeah let's just kind of chill and relax and see if the plane comes in and how everything works now eventually well actually you may notice a couple different things on the tarmac area I made the tarmac foundation come all the way out and through here now, the planes aren't actually going to, like, taxi around freely. They're going to follow these predefined paths that we have set out. Now, up here, I actually changed the holding points a little bit. Hopefully, now what I'm wondering is if a plane comes in here, if this sees a holding point and goes, maybe I should go to the next holding point farther away. Uh, I'm just wondering if this is going to help with the flow of, you know, traffic here. So, we have a hold point here and a hold point here. So in theory, the plane should be coming through here and then it should stop here. And if there's a plane here, this one will go in front of it and it'll stop there. Uh, in theory, that's what I was thinking, but I'm not sure that's how this is going to work. We'll see. Again, a lot of testing needs to be done with that and we'll see that more and more as we actually go ahead and, you know, get more flights involved here. So there's another general aviation coming in. Let's go ahead and accept it. Also in between episodes, I moved all of the construction stuff from way down here up to here. And I was doing a little bit of planning. And originally I had planned on putting the terminal like uh, this. Basically I wanted it to be this wide and then come up here and we'd have two runs of stalls. Now what I'm thinking is maybe we double how wide it is 
And then what we can do is a couple really cool things. We'll have shops down the middle of this, so it'll serve as basically both sides of the terminal. So it's got potential twice as much customers as we'd have uh, otherwise. Uh, we have another general aviation coming in. Now, I'll accept this one, but what I'll do is I'll go into the operations overview, and I will... I think we need to actually open the airport before these planes come in. Whoops, my bad. Uh, and also what we're going to do is always accept general aviation. So anytime a plane requests to land, it'll just be allowed to land if there's space. So yes, the tower will do its thing. I, I honestly don't know if the tower is doing anything. But yes, look, finally we got a plane. That was completely my fault. Uh, everything was hooked up properly. As you can tell, we just weren't open for business. So now we are... And we have planes coming in. So this is actually a pretty good spot for this. I was kind of wondering that. Uh, if you have the the taxiway entering like the runway back here. And the plane lands and sh overshoots it. It has to turn around and then come back to it. So this looked like a really good spot for this. I kind of just got lucky on that I think. But yeah. This plane is then going to come down here. And park in a stall. And we'll speed it up a little bit and start paying us the parking fee. So we are actually going to be making money now. Every hour, look, we are actually making money. And uh, the the budget, the hourly budget is really weird. I feel like there's some times when you'll be like down $3,000 because you just bought something within that hour. It, it should be more of an aggregate of like your profit loss uh, based on the operations. Not like the sinking costs of, of buying materials, but... Whatever, let's not complain too much. But yeah, we have some things coming in here. So if we go into here, this guy is just, you know, sitting here. It's not actually requesting anything. This plane doesn't need anything from us, I don't believe. So he just wanted to park and maybe go to the bathroom or something. I'm not really sure. So this plane is also not requesting anything. So that's good. Uh, so yeah, they're just gonna sit there and park and take a break and do their thing. Now, eventually, we'll have a plane come in that actually needs some fuel, and it will request some av gas from us, and that's when our trucks will go to work. And I'm thinking maybe I want to connect these up over here, uh, just to make sure we don't have any issues with that at the moment. So, I'm just gonna do that for now. When we expand and put a couple more stalls in here, we'll, you know, fill that out, but for now... Just make sure the truck has a path to go up and turn around and come back. So hopefully that's all good. So yes, back to what I was saying a while ago before I got distracted with the terminal plan. We're probably going to double the width of it. We'll have the shops in the middle so it can service both sides. And then at the top, you notice the little... I, I, we planned this out in the last episode where this is where the last stall is going to be. We have a little bit of space beyond that. So... What I'm thinking is we'll actually build a building out, almost touching this tarmac area, and then we'll be able to do some baggage stuff up here. Now, the baggage system you want to have, like, originally I was planning on putting it down here, but that's a little ways away from the passenger planes. So, with this new idea, we'll actually have the baggage up here. It'll do all its sorting and all that kind of stuff, and then drop off... It'll be really close. It'll be a short drive for the truck to come down here and, you know, do its thing on the tarmac area. So that's going to be really good. But part of that plan is going to involve building over here another baggage area. So all the bags will come through here on a conveyor, conveyor belt. It'll come up here, and then it'll get sorted. So this is just kind of planning for the future at this point. Uh, we'll have the sorting over here, and then the sorting will tell the bags to go up to here and one of the baggage ramps will be here that'll go down here and then eventually we'll have a second one over here so we'll be able to sort those out as to where they need to go and then eventually when we have another terminal hub we'll be able to sort more uh, of that out we'll have another hub for baggage and the sorting will then you know go through and do that so I haven't actually played around with the sorting of bags yet or the security of bags yet so hopefully we'll be able to do that it shouldn't be that complicated so I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be a good thing to do but you know what right now let's go ahead and start to build that a little bit out so we need to go ahead and take our terminal and i guess we'll just fill up the rest of this space here now i'm planning on potentially doing some bathrooms in this side 
uh, next to the security area. That'll be a good use of space here because I don't think we need it this big. So hopefully that works out pretty nicely. Um, let's go ahead and set that up now while we're just kind of thinking about it. Now these could be pretty big bathrooms, even though I don't think we really need them to be that big. So we'll go half of this is about 130. So this should be the halfway point there. Uh, we'll then put in a couple of the small doors. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For this here and here. And then, of course, we'll plan out our bathroom. So we need sinks and stalls and urinals for the men's room. So we'll go ahead and plan the sinks out. And before we can do that, we need to set this area to bathroom. Which is just like that and like that. Uh, okay. Now we need to go ahead and put the sinks in. Now, my idea is to make this basically the only bathroom in the place. So, for now at least. I mean, until we really expand this, we don't need a major bathroom. Uh, or, or a second bathroom. So, hopefully this will be able to handle the capacity of our guests. So, this will be the stalls down throughout here and of course we will double this up like this and like I was saying yes this will double the capacity up and yeah this is just gonna be a really efficient use of space down here so this is the female bathroom will be this one and then up here we'll go ahead and put the males bathroom in and we can go in and change this so this will be the female and this will be the male bathrooms and then this one needs some urinals and toilets because, you know, you never know what you got to do in the bathroom in the airport. Uh, if I can get rid of that, yes, thank you. Uh, all right. The toilets will then go in like this. Same plan. But on the other side, I'm thinking, you know what? No, let's do toilets down this way as well. And then on the outsides, we'll go ahead and put urinals. So, yes, lots and lots of areas to relieve yourself if you're coming to Deke International Airport. So there we go. And then I'm thinking maybe we put one more uh, one more door up here just to kind of keep things nice. And then this area we don't need to access. So that's going to be really nice. Um, we do need to put a wall, however, up here. We're not going to need to access this uh, just yet. I don't know if we're going to need to access this at all, to be honest. This should eventually be automated. So hopefully that's going to be nice. But yes, that's a really good size space for this. So... Uh, we have a bunch of planes in here now, and it looks like the, the fuel truck hasn't really done anything. So I'm wondering if that's a problem, but it looks like none of these guys are needing anything. I'm wondering, however, right now, if there's something. So, okay, we need avgas refueling. So we'll turn that on, and yes, now, like I said, this game is very confusing at times. You need to go through and make sure your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted or whatever before you get stuff going. So, yes, this should actually encourage more uh, planes to come in because right now we're only getting planes that needed to come in and, like, park. Now we'll get planes that are flying over that need to show up and refuel and we'll actually get paid for that. So, yes, this is pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, back to what we were doing. Well... Really, there's not much else we need to do over here. Uh, eventually, we're going to need the baggage stuff in. But I think before that, let's go ahead and expand the rest of this terminal out to where it needs to go. And for now, it's just going to go like that. Uh, and it's going to be 8 by whatever. It's going to be 8 wide up to the end here. So that's that. That just cost us a lot of money, but that's fine. Uh, I could go ahead and put more of these stalls in, but at the moment, I don't think we need that. Yeah, you know what? We could. We could do that. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to trying to figure out where I want to go from here. So, I think the next step is to start getting some of the terminal done. So, yes, I think we've handled the, the general aviation side of things for now. Hopefully, we'll get some more with some gas requirements coming in. This guy might. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, hopefully that'll end up giving us some more money. So as we build the terminal out, we'll have some somewhat of an income to offset the costs. So that's the really the whole plan there. So, yes, this is really nice now that we have the construction drop-off stuff over here because they don't have to walk all the way down to here. And, yeah, it, it's looking pretty good. I'm, looking, I'm liking what we're doing. So 
uh, let's finish this episode out by doing a little bit more of the decoration stuff around here. And then I think in the next episode, we'll go ahead and jump into more of the actual building in the secure zone, which I think I need to add this to the secure zone as well. So there we go. That's nice. And you just, you always want to make sure your doors are in, in the secure zone as well. Sometimes that could cause some issues, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and plop down some of the flooring that we've been kind of working with here. So uh, this will be all light blue, and then this will also be light blue. And I'm thinking, do I want to do something like this? Yeah, probably. There we go. And then dark blue will go around all of that and fill the gaps, essentially. So that's going to be nice. And like I said, I went through and I decorated some of this already. Uh, I don't think I needed that one or did no yeah I did okay so that's fine uh, I decorated this with some of the screens and stuff already just to get that out of the way but uh, yeah this is this is looking good I am actually very impressed at how well this little terminal has taken shape already and this is looking looking good I'm hoping that you guys are excited and are following along and uh, are really excited to see what happens when we f start to get those big time air airlines in here. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, in the game right now, we only have medium sized air airlines. So uh, eventually, hopefully there'll be large airliners that'll come in and we'll have large stalls. And I'm not sure what the roadmap of this game looks like moving forward, but hopefully that's planned uh in the near future and not in the far future but yeah anyway um i think really all we need to do is add a couple more things in here uh maybe some large planters around the area just to make things look a little nicer and unfortunately there's not a lot of variety in the decor of things at the moment in this game but why can't i put that over there oh that's probably part of that so yeah uh, unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of the same looking plants and stuff, but you know what? That's fine. That's all we need right now. And actually, I just, uh, I didn't need that one there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just gonna add that little bit of flair to it. So hopefully it's not that weird and I hope you guys don't mind it that much, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do. And I'm thinking maybe we get one more line of seats over here just cause we can fit them. That's a nice little thing to add there. And, uh... Yeah, you know what? I think that's the terminal done at this point. I mean, we could maybe do some, like, armchairs over here, but, like, what good is that? There's really not much they can... There, <laughs> You're gonna have, like, two people sitting over here, whereas, like, families can go over there or whatever. And I think that's gonna wrap this episode up. I mean, we've gotten a lot done today in this one, so uh, we actually have planes coming in, and hopefully we'll get some of those using our fuel services. I'll have to keep an eye on that maybe in the next one. We do have 24 unread emails, and I don't really plan on going through those. But anyway, guys, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you have not subscribed to me by now, go ahead and hit up that sub button. And guys, I'll see you next time at Deke International Airport.